Hello my Scorpios and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course I am Debbie and I am reading June 30th through July 6th. Now we have a full moon in there. I have an overview. Um, please take a look at it. Um, it was a little bit different. Please take a look. Anyway, it was, what did I call it? Choose Peace, something like that. Interesting times. I'm always amazed when the cards come out like beautiful energies coming around us especially when we're living in a world that doesn't always seem as beautiful anyway my Scorpios please remember that um, these are general readings they may or may not resonate take what you like leave the rest okay okay so here we go let's see what we have here Holy Spirit what do you want to say to our Scorpios is there some message for our Scorpios Remember, we have a moon, full moon in Capricorn, which is the end of a tough cycle approaches, which I, I, I'm really happy with that one. Really happy. So higher power, what do we have? Okay, card falling out. That one is reversed. One more time we'll shuffle and then we will cut. Let's see, anything else? I do want you to I do want you to know because things are shifting again for you. That south node, and I know I talk about it a lot, but Things are going to be shifting out of there, so I want, you know, I do think you're going to be a little more sensitive um, during this time. Connect with your whoever your higher power is, and really, really, it, it, it just, it's just really, um, I don't know if it's to listen to your intuition. I just feel a very strong sensitivity, and um, it could be, maybe, maybe the energies are just a little overwhelming for you right now. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. First card is reversed. Well, we have the Queen of Ariel. I'm, I'm getting really right now. You need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of your physical, your mental, your spiritual. You need to just take care of yourself. This may be a time for you to take a rest. It may be a time for you to take a little bit of a me vacation or a stay vacation, but at a time when it's you taking care of yourself. Now the Queen's, the Queen's underlying energy is your energy. It is Cancer, yours, and Pisces. There's a lot of things going on right now with your with all of the water energies. It's fluid, emotional, spiritual energy. It can be very sensitive energy too. Ariel is the Earth energy. It is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn and Taurus are the main players right now. So it's a good, it's kind of like, I feel like the Queen of Ariel is saying, you know, kind of like propping you up. It's like the Earth energies are propping you up, but you still have to take care of yourself. There's something going on that maybe you're, maybe you're letting your energies kind of sip, you know, you know, seep through um, you know, maybe you're not necessarily, you know, there's like, you know, you know, I do Reiki, so there's like aura energies, there's your chakra energies. It's again, kind of getting your self back into an alignment. Um, so I kind of just feel like, like, you know, just pull it together. Well, I, I, well, I had that too. Uh, that was with cancer about pulling it together. But yours is more about taking care of yourself. Okay. But the queen of Ariel, love her. Mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. But again, I do feel like it's time. It is time that you need to put, you know, you need to invest in yourself a little bit more. Okay? And I know that she loves beautiful things and she does know how to take care of others. But I feel like you need to invest in yourself. You need to, um, you know, you've been... Your, your, the energies have been so scattered and you need to, you know, you, you need to direct those energies towards yourself a little bit more. Okay. And it's okay. You know, if that means that's, you know, staying home and, you know, I would just say, you know, if that means staying home and reading a book or watching TV and just, it's again, it's pulling your energies. It's taking care of you first. All right. Let's go on to our next card. All right, so here we have a 16. This is considered the tower energy, the tower card, major arcana. We have a 1, 6, 10 plus 6. So the 1 is a new beginning, new start. 0 is a God source energy. Um, is 
the 10 is actually transition. Things are transitioning for you. Things are changing for you. They're not necessarily changing the way you wanted them to or thought that you, that you needed them to, but they're changing in a way that will be better for you, okay? Six is the number of man, the number of man that, you know, the energies you put into something. One plus six becomes a seven, and that's, again, another divine number, divine, over, divine overcoat I'm getting. And you, normally it's a divine umbrella, but this is a divine overcoat. Like, it, it's protecting you in many, many ways. Archangel Shamuel, this talks about a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. So something about taking care of yourself because something's going to be changing. And again, it's not the way you thought it was going to be. So be prepared. You know that um, I talked about Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. So there is, a, you know, so there it's, it, it, you may not see, you may not see the, um, the, the light at the at end of the tunnel, but it is something that was better for you. Okay. So tower card, um, many times it's where you feel like things are out of your control, but it actually, again, it's something that works for you. Anyway, this card, the seven of Michael. So we have that seven energy. We have Michael energy. Michael is air energy, sword energy. It is our Aquarius, Gemini, and our Libra energy. So thought processes, thinking things through making plans okay the seven of michael now there's two things with um the seven of michaels one is um you know when it's the seven of swords i should say i always get the distraction look here don't look there so it's kind of a um you know i know that the five of swords i talk about sneaky snake but this is the one where it's kind of a like look here don't look there and and because you're looking there you're not seeing what's going on over there okay but the seven of michael also says that you have opportunities you have choices there is some but you have to get your mind in gear you have to get your mind to see these choices okay and also too sorry part of it is also your water energy your heart energy like i said as we get closer to that july is it the 17th or is it the 18th? When you, when things, well, actually, it's starting to happen right now. I shouldn't even say that it's a specific date. I'm always telling you it's not a light switch. But as we're getting closer, as that south node starts to transition, there's more and more being put upon you. You've got to kind of break free from that, and you just have to go towards, you know, you just have to know that there is more out there for you. Okay? So there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So there's a shift. There's a shift, but this is this is very much because of that node and all that stuff. You know, things are being really resolved with it. It's, it but it is a time to take care of yourself, okay? Put a little more attention in you. Now, let's go on to our guardian angel deck. Let's see what we have here for our Scorpios here. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio energy. So we have a 167, a 761. Okay, and a card that has flown out. And can I even get this card? And I can, but I have to kind of, uh, oh. All right, and also to my Scorpios, I'm going to tell you, I really feel like you do need to do a lot. If, you're, if this is summer, if you're able to do this, I do feel like you need to ground yourself a lot more, especially during this week. Now, what does that mean? Go outside if you can. Um, you know, walk outside without your, you know, without your shoes. Ground, you know, that that's the really good sense of grounding. Also, hug some trees. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. We have nine. Nine now is let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. You just have to put it together. This is also the hermit card. So the hermit card has to step away. Really make that connection, really kind, you know, kind of take a little bit of time, a little bit of meditation, and really do some spiritual revival. Spiritual, what am I supposed to be doing, God, Source? What am I supposed to be doing, Holy Spirit? So we have that hermit energy stepping away. Now, I do love that, you know, here he is. He's bringing presents, so there's a good energy with that. Um, there is gifting with this there, you know, he's got his staff to guide him. I mean to, you know, to keep him on the right footing and he has the light to show him his way. Anyway, 
there the spiritual teaching there are great rewards in spending time alone use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you shine your light as an example for others to follow seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now interesting with this especially between these three well all of these cards there is a loose connection that i hope you can see anyway let's go inspirational wisdom fairies and angels angels and fairies let's see what we have here what do we have what do you want to say to our scorpios what do we have to our for our scorpios yeah things are things are shifting and as and as your energy um you know as that goes into more of a libra Libra energy, Libra about balance. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. It's interesting time for you, my Scorpios. Okay, let's see what we have here for Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio. Fairy of the Mystic Forest. Oh, I love how pretty. You have the power and aptitude to make, to make your dreams come true. All you need now is commitment to make it happen. Oh, I love that. You have the aptitude. You have the power. Okay, we're going to pull a moonology, but let's go on. Crystal and energy for my Scorpios. What would be helpful? Helpful crystal or energy for our Scorpios. Again, I do feel that you do need to ground yourself a little bit more. Again, it's all about taking care of you this week. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. But again, it's spiritual energy too. So taking care of your spiritual energy as much as your physical energy. Amatrine. Now, amatrine is a combination, amethyst and citrine. So this is spiritual guidance, angelic realms. It helps to clear stress and truths are revealed. All right, so we have Capricorn Moon, end of a tough cycle approaches. So what else do we want to say? What else do we have? What else is there with this moon energy for our Scorpios? For our Scorpios. What else do we have here for our Scorpios? Scorpios, Scorpios. What do we have for our Scorpios? Okay. It's a mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. Does that make sense to you? Nothing is yet set in stone. In some ways, it kind of means to me that um, you still have choices. You still have choices. Maybe you're going down a road that you're kind of like saying, eh, not necessarily where I want to be going. Um, you know, better course of action, better road available. Nothing is yet set in stone. You haven't gone too far yet. All right, my Scorpios, let me know what this means. I would love to hear from you. I am reading my, my comments, even if I haven't been answering them just yet. But anyway, my Scorpios, please do me the favor. Please do me the favor of doing the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. It helps it helps anyway as always oh and if you're watching me on rumble rumble me as always my scorpios always know that you are loved stay shining and be blessed bye bye